Okay, in this video, I wanna talk all about minivans. Minivans are probably one of the best pieces of at-home fitness equipment you can get. They're extremely inexpensive and they are super, super helpful, especially now when we are all stuck at home for workouts. Um, we're gonna talk about a bunch of different exercises that you can do with minivans. They're not just for building your booty upper body and lower body, I'm gonna show you a ton of exercises and how to do them. And I'm also gonna have two complete workouts that you can do at the very end. So go grab some water and let's get going. they usually come in sets and they're color coded. So you can see here on this table, I have a set of colored mini bands and then a black one over here at the end and I'll talk about that in a minute. Each band is a different thickness and I'm gonna have Mike kind of get up here into this band. This is a very thin band. You can see that this is a thin one and I'll compare it to the heaviest one, which is much thicker. Now. Most bands come in sets of three or four, and it's great to have different thicknesses because you'll want different thicknesses depending on the exercise that you're doing. You can get these mini bands anywhere. My friend Joe Therapy has this great set of mini bands, which is what I have right here. You can get them from him, you can get them really anywhere. And the, the best thing about mini bands is they travel super well. They take up zero room in your suitcase. You can create a ton of resistance with these bands and you're gonna get a really effective workout, whether you're at home, whether you're on the road, or even if you're in the gym, you can add these to your exercises that you're already doing. Now, this last band on the table is called Slingshot. This is made out of fabric, it's much heavier. There's a bunch of different brands of this kind of um, mini band. This just provides a whole lot more resistance, and if you have an issue with latex, this could be a, a really good alternative. So in this video, we are going to walk you through a bunch of different exercises that you can do with mini bands. People think mini bands are just for building your booty and they can definitely help you with that. But you can do all kinds of exercises with them. You can do upper body and core exercises with them as well. I'm gonna walk you through a ton of different options that you can do with your mini bands, complete with walkthroughs on how to actually do these step by step. And then at the end, we're going to show you two full workouts that you can do with mini bands, a lower body and core focused workout and an upper body and core focused workout. So let's get started. For the constant tension banded squats, you wanna put the band above your knees, keep your chest up, sit your butt back and down while pressing out on the band, and you're gonna go in a slow and constant motion between the top part of the range and the bottom part of the range. With the banded reverse lunge, you want to loop the band around your planted foot and grab it with the opposite hand. You're going to step back into the reverse lunge, keeping all the weight on the front foot. Step back in and keep tension on the band the entire time. With the split stance RDL, you want to loop the band around your stationary foot and grab it with the opposite hand. You want the other leg behind you, but not very far. The back leg just serves as a kickstand, so very little of your weight should be on that back foot. All of your weight should really be on the front foot. You're going to hinge at your hips, sending your hips behind you, and then come back up to full hip extension. With the single leg hip thrust, you don't need to use a band, but you certainly can use a band if you want to. Now line up your armpits on the edge of the couch or bench or chair or whatever you're using. Start with both feet planted firmly on the ground and get your hips up into full extension. Lift one foot just a little bit off the ground, keeping that knee bent. Lower your hips while you're pushing your ribs down and then push your hips back up into the air, squeezing your glutes super tight. With the lateral band walks, you can put the band above your knees or below your knees. In this video, the band is above my knees. I'm sitting back and sitting low, and I'm taking a big initial step followed by a shorter 
second step. And what that does, it keeps tension on the band. You do not want your feet close together. These are lateral band walks where the band is below your knees. Get your hips back, sit low, take a big step, and then a little step, keep tension on the band the entire time. With the band at glute bridges, you wanna lay on your back with your knees bent, put the band above your knees, and make sure your knees are wide enough so there's tension on the band. You're going to push down into your heels and raise those hips in the air and squeeze your glutes. Now you're gonna do 20 of the glute bridges and on the 20th rep, hold your hips super high and you're gonna pulse your knees out for 20. With the seated single arm band row, you want to sit on the ground, sit nice and tall, legs are long, loop the band around one of your feet. You're going to hold the band with the arm on the same side, and you're going to pull the band back towards your side, keeping your elbows nice and close to your body. With the band pull apart, you want to use one of the lightest bands in your package for this exercise. Hold the band out in front of you, arms extended, but with a soft elbow. You're going to want to pull that band apart while you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, in this next section, I'm gonna have some short videos on some non-banded exercises that we're gonna include in all the workouts. You've probably seen a lot of these before. I have complete tutorials on most all of them on this YouTube channel. You can easily find them there. But the next videos you're gonna see, we're gonna include them in the workout, but you don't need a band for any of them. With hand walkouts, you want to literally walk your hands out until you are in a nice, strong, tall plank position. You're gonna to wanna to walk your hands all the way back in until you are standing up nice and tall and you repeat this. What you wanna look out for is to make sure that you do not let your belly collapse when you walk yourself out into that plank position. With the hollow body hold, you want to lay on the ground with your legs slightly off the floor and your arms extended behind you. You wanna push your back into the floor the entire time, keep your chin tucked, engage your quads, engage your glutes, engage your shoulders, and hold this position for 20 seconds. With push-up planks, you want to start in a strong plank position and you're going to slowly put your hand where your elbow was and push yourself up into a tall plank position without rotating your hips. You're going to lower yourself back down to an elbow toe plank, again, without rotating your hips. Keep those glutes squeezed, those abs braced, and those shoulders nice and engaged. With the push-up, you just wanna make sure that your glutes are squeezed, your abs are braced, and your shoulders are back, your elbows are at 45 degrees. You're going to pause at the bottom for a legit two seconds and then push yourself back up. Keep your body nice and tight. With the slow Russian twist, you want to sit nice and tall and your arms are an extension of your chest. They're not pointed straight up, they're not pointed straight out, they're somewhere in the middle. And you are going to lean slightly back and slowly rotate from the torso, keeping your arms in line with your chest. Don't let your arms get ahead of your chest. Keep them right in line. The movement's going to be short, but it's all gonna be driven from your torso. With the plank with reach, you wanna get into a nice strong plank position with your glutes squeezed, abs braced, shoulders back away from your ears and down towards your back pockets. And you're going to want to reach one hand out in front of you and tap the floor and bring it back without your hips rotating. Keep everything nice and tight and go very, very slowly. Okay, so I just walked you through a ton of exercises that you can do with midi bands. You're really only limited by your creativity. You can probably do just about anything and involve a mini band if you want to. But now you've got a whole exercise library full of different exercises that you can do with your mini bands. Now let's put them together in a complete workout. I'm gonna have Dan put over here the complete lower body workout. Now take a screenshot of this so you can keep it. And now you have a complete lower body and core focused workouts using nothing but mini bands. When you're ready to move on the next day, two days later, here is an upper body focused workout for you. We have Dan put it over here. Take a screenshot of this. 
These are the upper body exercises that you can do with mini bands as well, upper body and core focused. So now you have two complete workouts. You can alternate them. You can change up the rep schemes if you want, that's fine. Have fun with these and add these to, to whatever you're doing. You can also add weight if you wanna hold weight for some of these and a mini band. There's a lot of different options that you can do. I just wanna make sure that you know how you can use these mini bands and how valuable they are. You can use them for literally anything. If you have any questions per usual, please let me know. Put, put them down here in the comments below. Click subscribe while you're here because we're still gonna be out here putting out content for you that hopefully will help you get through this time period that we're in and carry you forward. If I can ever do anything for you, please let me know. Thanks for being here.